I'm Jackson Pierce, and not only is this my 100th video, but it's also my very first Project for Awesome video. There are a lot of really amazing charities out there doing really amazing work to the point that I find it really hard to choose just one to donate to. So my suggestion is you don't choose just one, you choose several. And among those several, I think you should choose an animal-related charity. And among those animal-related charities, I highly, highly recommend Tales from the Heart. Which is where I'm headed right now if this light ever ch Oh, it's changing. Tales from the Heart is a charity run slash organized slash sponsored slash operated by one person, Elizabeth Hartman. Elizabeth is a wildlife rehabber, which means she takes in animals that have been like injured or hurt or, you know, orphaned or stunted in some way. She fixes them up and then she turns them back over to Mother Nature so they can, you know, run and, and be wild and free and happy. Tales from the Heart specializes in raccoons, so I'm making this video live from their enclosure. Most of the raccoons are here because they've been orphaned. Their moms have been like hit by cars or they've been trapped by trappers or that kind of thing. Quite a few of these raccoons, however, are here because people tried to keep them as pets. And it's no wonder, they're freaking adorable. They have little masks and little hands and it's easy to imagine cuddling them or teaching them to play little video games with their opposable thumbs. But the problem is, while raccoons are adorable, they're still wild animals. When they're babies and they're trying to steal your car keys, it's really cute. When they weigh 20 pounds and are adults and they're destroying your house with those opposable thumbs, it's not so cute anymore. They can eventually even grow aggressive and have been known to cause some pretty substantial bodily harm. <laughs> so when people eventually realize that, that wild-caught raccoon does not make a good pet, they dump it off on Tails from the Heart, and then they have to sort of rewild it so they can eventually release it to its forest home. It costs Tails from the Heart approximately $250 to rehab a baby raccoon to an adult raccoon, and most of that money is coming straight out of Elizabeth's pocket. Which means we're at the point of this video where I tell you ways that you can donate or help Tails from the Heart. Number one, donate money. There's a link on Tails from the Heart's website, and it's somewhere below me right now. Number two, donate goods. There's also a list of things that Tales from the Heart needs on their website. Link once again, below somewhere. Number three, don't keep raccoons as pets or any wild animal. I know that you had ideas that you were going to keep them and cuddle them and you were going to teach them how to sing that Disney princess medley with you, but it's not a good idea. Wildlife rehabbers operate all over the world and for the most part they're all self-funded. So if you'd rather give your money to more local fauna, that's okay too. Google is your friend. Find a local wildlife rehabber with a house full of adorable animals that you can give your money to. Because seriously, who does not want to give money to an orphaned baby raccoon? Thanks for watching and supporting Project for Awesome. Give me that camera. <laughs>